In this video, we're going to look at the Smart Save Backup feature in Smart Shooter 5. This is a new feature that's going to be great for any workflow where reshooting is not an option, which is most workflows. This feature is going to help protect you from potentially corrupted hard drives or card or even camera loss, accidentally deleted images, or any number of things that could potentially happen to your images. It's worth remembering that Smart Shooter already has a kind of backup feature built into it via the storage setting. In the storage setting, you can choose the computer disk, the camera card, or both locations. When using both locations, the images are written to the camera card and the computer disk, inherently giving you a kind of backup. But the Smart Save backup feature is going to add a potentially third location to that list of backups. So to access the backup feature, you'll need to open the backup window. Like all windows in Smart Shooter 5, you can access those in the View menu. Here we see Backup option if it's not already selected. In this window, we see a series of buttons and checkboxes across the top a list view in the center, and the backup location at the bottom here. This is where we set the location for the backups to be saved to. So using the select option, we can choose the location. I've got an external hard drive here, and I can create a new folder for the images. Select that, and we'll see that destination is now set. So. In Smart Shooter 5, there are two methods you can use to create backups. One is a manual method, the other is an automatic method. We'll look at the manual method first. Uh, in the buttons across the top, you'll see a Backup Now button. By selecting that, you can manually set all images to be set for backup. We'll see the status here on the left, in progress, pending, and ultimately completed. So Smart Shooter is automatically taking all the images and saving those to the location. If it's a large queue of images you have, you can cancel that backup process at any time. For many users, though, the automatic uh, backup method is going to be the preferred method. And you can turn that on by checking this box here to enable auto backups. That means Smart Shooter is automatically going to take any incoming image and queue it up for backup without any additional user input. So to demonstrate that, I'll make a new image here. We'll see it show up here in the film strip, and then automatically Smart Shooter adds it to the queue here. It's being processed because it's the only image to be backed up, and ultimately that will be completed. So we don't need to be in the backups window. We can make images outside of that window. We can go to the computer, uh, uh, go to the camera, go to any other location and continue to make images. And all the while, Smart Shooter is managing that process, looking for new images and backing them up in the background. And finally, just to illustrate the point, uh, we see the images here in the download directory and this, the external drive, we see the backups folder that we created, and again, a, a duplicate copy of those images saved for us in that secondary backup location. It's worth remembering that this location can be set to any folder, including folders that are used by cloud services. So if you have a Google Drive or Dropbox folder on your computer, you can set this as the backup location, and those images will be automatically uploaded in the background to that cloud service, thereby moving your backups off-site automatically. That's the Smart Save Backup feature in Smart Shooter 5.